Hello and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to be talking about transparency of paint and how this is important to give you rich color in your paintings. I'm going to give you a little demonstration as well just to show you how I use transparency in my paintings to get some rich color and some good contrasting color notes as well. Stick around and enjoy the lesson coming up. Okay, now transparency of paint seems a rather obscure subject and perhaps something that beginners are really not considering. But I'm going to show you a very simple and important reason why transparency should be something that you think about right from the start. Now in various tube colors, in this case I'm using oil paints, you'll notice that there's a little symbol on the tube. In most cases it's a little square and in color that is strongly opaque, that is not transparent at all, it could be a black square, completely blacked out. And you'll find this a lot on your cadmiums for instance and also your titanium white. Most colors are going to have a sort of a semi-transparency and the block is partly white, partly uh, black and that indicates that it is somewhat transparent. So if you put it on quite thin on your canvas you should be able to see through that maybe the white of the canvas below or another color. And then of course you get colors that are entirely transparent and probably alizarin crimson is one that I use a lot and the little square is white indicating that it is very transparent. Now when I'm painting, this is not my primary concern with transparency. I'm not glazing color like in an old master painting where I'm making very thin glaze of transparent paint and putting that over. So you see the bottom colors come through and are influenced by that glaze. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about transparency in the sense of trying to emphasize the color and keep out the most powerful opaque medium on your palette and that is the white paint. So for example you'll see in the coming up little demo where I make the trees and the shadows the strongest color without any white paint. Keeping those colors relatively transparent and making them richer as I layer color over each other. It could be transparent like alizarin or semi-transparent like maybe ultramarine blue. Those semi-transparent colors are increasing the richness and uh, the vibrancy of those colors. Anyway, this short demonstration will show you the, the differences that I'm talking about and try this in your next painting and see if it really boosts the punch and color in your painting. So I'll start the scene with the darks and using a transparent layer to get those darks in very quickly. In this case I'm using a bit of um, ultramarine and burnt sienna, applying the layer very thin as well and mixing color into color, wet into wet. Some of the color mixes on the canvas and creates those greens as well. And as you can see, it's not too opaque. And building up these layers now to get even richer color. These are medium value colors, still transparent and still nice and rich. I've actually used a bit of cadmium orange there and you can see it is not that opaque. Certainly nothing like when you get white paint in. Now with a bit of red and alizarin to get some orange notes and then some green notes as well. Building this color up so that it is nice and rich as you can see. And by rich I just mean deep, vibrant, almost a luxurious look to it. It's not cold, even 
Compared to this now, you can see with the light values, I'm bringing white paint into it to create opaque color. Very strong, but it really stands out great against all of those rich darks. Now here i have still making a shadow, but quite a light one with some white added, and it is not as rich as that color up there in the trees. And that's the influence of white paint, of course. And now cool, transparent shallow shadows. There's a bit of uh, cerulean blue in that green as well, giving a nice cool color. Building up richness, you can paint one layer over the other. Very little influence except nice and rich. Opaque lights, paint that straight over your darks. Now with the highlights, I use them quite sparingly. Don't lose all that rich color you've built up. Nice strong shadows, a warm, warmish green, but it looks cool against the really warm oranges and yellow colors. And when you get into the opaque lights, contrast those with the shadows and they really stand out even better. Quite a bit of white in that yellow and look in you get that lovely thick impasto juicy color notes really standing out because of your darks. And there we have it. A good combination of rich color and transparent colors. Well I hope this little lesson gives you something to think about and makes you more conscious of what you're doing with your white paint especially and what you're doing with the shadow parts of your painting and how long it takes you to bring in the white paint. Try to keep the white paint out for as long as possible to give you the best chance of really emphasizing the strong colors. Now there's a lot more to this subject and I cover color and color mixing in a lot more depth in my painting courses. You'll find a number of courses to choose from, from oils to gouache to acrylics even watercolor and pastel. And to get you started, I've got a free course in the description and you can also find one in the link up here. So try that out and I hope that you have subscribed to this channel so you don't miss the next video. Well, until we meet again, happy painting and cheers for now.